Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another 10 video ads video DVDs this time around and I'm going to be showing these in alphabetical order. This first film is based on a true story that took place in Los Angeles in 1928. A woman's young son disappears into thin air and remains missing for five years. Then suddenly he reappears, they're reunited, but she becomes convinced that he's not her real son. Sounds like an interesting idea for a plot. Produced and directed by Clint Eastwood, one of the co-producers, Ron Howard. Changeling. Okay, very, very funny uh, British comedy. This is a two-disc set and includes as bonuses, audio commentary track with John Cleese, over 25 minutes of deleted and alternate scenes, a trivia track, plus a documentary called Something Fishy, a fish called Wanda. A lot of bang for the buck. Okay, going from a film with Jamie Lee Curtis in it to another film with Jamie Lee Curtis in it. This film was produced by Deborah Hill, was written by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill, and was directed by John Carpenter with music by John Carpenter. I've already got this film on Laserdisc, but that Laserdisc dates clear back to the magnetic video days, so that places it at 1981. So really old transfer. I assume this one has a much newer transfer. A fog. This includes as the bonuses um, new documentary outtakes, storyboard to film co uh, comparison, original 1980 documentary that was produced at the time the film was, uh, liner notes by John Carpenter, and audio commentary by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill, which is uh, a neat trick considering she's been dead for a few years. But um, I don't know when this DVD came out. And back in the early days of DVDs, when they started adding audio commentaries to them, they recycled audio commentary tracks that they had recorded for a Laserdisc release. So it could be that this dates that far back, but don't know for sure. This next one is animated and it's a little short to be considered a feature film. It runs 58 minutes. G.I. Joe Resolute. Okay, this next film I haven't seen in decades. I saw it on HBO right after its theatrical run, which was very short. And my, as I remember it, this is a pretty bad film. But I figured, what, what the hey, I'll give it a chance and uh, maybe I'll see it differently this time. But I'm not going to hold my breath on it. The stars Andy Kaufman and Bernadette Peters. Heart beeps. Two robots fall in love. And one of them becomes pregnant. How a robot becomes pregnant, I haven't a clue. Okay, this is from the producers of The Sixth Sense. The Invisible.
Didn't have a price on it, so I'm assuming I got it at Walmart for five dollars. This next one is from Walmart's discount bin. Five dollars for a double feature. Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers 2. Now, the first film only features deleted scenes and audio commentary as the bonuses. But look at the list of bonuses for the sequel. And these two films have different aspect radios, the ratios. One, uh, the first film, is offered in full screen, which is uh, 1.33 to 1 ratio. And widescreen 1.85 to 1, which is barely widescreen in my, in my uh, opinion. But the second film only has it in widescreen with an aspect ratio of 2.35 to 1, which is fairly wide, I think. Both films for $5 is a pretty good deal. Another double feature from Walmart's uh, $5 bin. Joyride and Joyride 2 Dead Ahead. Now, see if this synopsis, which is very short, for the first Joyride film, see if it does remind you of Steven Spielberg's classic TV film, Duel. In that film, you had Dennis Weaver being uh, chased and menaced by a truck. You never see the driver in that, in, in that film, except for his boots and his arms. Other than that, whatever is behind the wheel of that truck is a complete mystery. But the synopsis for this film, Joyride, stalked by a vengeful trucker, three friends race for their lives. It's a thrilling nail-biter with four mind-blowing alternate scenes, or alternate endings, rather. And one of the alternate endings runs 29 minutes. So there's those two films. This I picked up used at Gabe Over on our last trip there. They have a new thing where if you spend $50 or more on anything in their store, you could pick out a DVD for free. And this is one I picked up. And I could not believe that somebody had actually parted with this. Stan Lee's Mutants, Monsters, and Marvels. Now it runs 95 minutes and it's broken down into two uh, main sections. The first called Creating Spider-Man. Uh, they cover the inspiration behind creating Spider-Man. Stan Lee uh, discusses Spider-Man's original artist, the Web Slinger's closest friends and arch enemies, TV incarnations, and Sony Pictures Spider-Man film, and uh, the comic at the hands of a new generation of comic creators. And then the second half, uh, titled Here Come the Heroes, Stan Lee's first writing assignment on Captain America, the birth of the Fantastic Four in the X-Men phenomenon, the mighty Marvel bullpen, fan interactions, um, Stan's thoughts on movies based on Marvel characters including the X-Men, the Hulk, Daredevil, the Silver Surfer, and the Fantastic Four. Now as extras, it includes a behind-the-scenes featurette, a bonus interview with Stanley's wife, Joan, and a bonus story about the never released Fantastic Four movie. Free. And my voice is starting to go, so it's a good thing I'm reaching in here. The Return of the Magnificent Seven. Until next time, stay awesome.